yes. Okay, so greetings Libra. Um, this is the deal for you. It's like you've got this north node of the moon hanging out in your first house. And so what this means is that you really have strong desire in your life to do all the Libra things. Be har harmonious with others, create balance, create a sense of wealth, have a good partnership. You're, you know, all these Libra things you're really hungry for, but there's no bottom. It seems like there's nothing catching your desire. And so you're working on manifestation. And one of the things is, is uh, you know, it rules the head and the upper part of the body. And so sometimes the, the north node can make us a little bit crazy, a little bit mentally ill, you know, and this is at worst. But let's look at, you know, the fact that the sun and Neptune and Chiron are in your sixth house right now. Maybe it's been harder to feel healthy, you know. I mean, we don't stay vital 23-year-olds forever, you know, and... I mean, we can stay longer if we eat healthy and exercise and do all that stuff, but our modern lifestyles oftentimes prevent that just for economic survival. It's a bizarre twist to things, for sure, but this is where we're at. Um, relationships should be sweet right now for Aries. You should be the ultimate lover, you know, so if you're sick or ill... Your lovers will come visit you while you're in bed, <laughs> pay sweet attention to you. If they know you're in need, you're such a nice person, they're going to come over there. You're so attractive and fine that you know they're going to want you. And um, you've got good friends right now. This is a good year for your social contacts because of Jupiter in the 11th house. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't fret too much about what's going on. you still got good creative ideas with Mercury in the 5th. You know, you're just going to have to roll with this one for now. <clears throat>